Well, our nation's most recent tragic mass shooting has prompted our talking heads to search for explanations, and the frothing face holes at Fox News are much like a family of donkeys at Thanksgiving doing their very best to ignore the elephant in the room, grasping at any straw to avoid talking about guns. Laura Ingram said maybe it's all the legal weed these young men have access to nowadays. Yeah, because everybody knows when you think of stoners, you think of homicidal rage. Somehow I doubt that's it. Then she said maybe it's the antidepressants, all the SSRIs in our society. I love this one. It's like, you know, back in the good old days in this country, young white men didn't need medication to deal with their problems. No, back then they worked through their issues by tuning up the misses or joining a lynch mob like a man. What's this country coming to? It's like only these people could constantly play the, it's not about guns, it's about mental health card and then turn around and be like, you know what the real problem is? We got too much medicine for mental health. That's it. Of course, they also went to the old standby. He played to me violent video, got the violent video games. Why is it only the violent ones that have this type of impact, huh? Why don't we ever hear about a rash of mining and homesteading amongst the youth because of Minecraft? Or we don't ever hear about teenagers breaking into candy shops and lining up all the fruit shapes or whatever. Don't they know at this point, statistically, almost everybody plays these games and almost nobody murders everyone? When are they gonna give it up? They also went to the old standbys, what about ism and racism? Bill O'Reilly was like, I don't even want to hear it from Chicago till they admit that the blacks kill people too. It's like, oh, now they want to talk about black lives. All right. Yeah. You know, as if anybody on the left is advocating for more gang violence. No, believe it or not, we generally prefer that fewer people across the board were shot to death in this country. It's just no one's talking about gang violence in this case because it ain't got shit to do with it. Not that hard to understand. But I think my favorite take came from old Tucky Wucky. Tucker Carlson said the real problem with all these angry young white men is that all the women in their lives are overbearing bitches who won't stop being mean to them and making them feel bad. Yeah, I'm sure that's the real problem with all these rudderless, misguided, unloved, and rage-filled young men. Overly attentive mothers. Yeah, I'm sure you've cracked it, Tucker. It's also funny, this is coming from the guy whose mama abandoned him at like six years old. It kind of feels like this is about something else, buddy. I don't know, but again, whatever it takes to keep from admitting we clearly have a gun problem in this country, right? Like, of course, anyone who would commit an atrocity like this has a myriad of factors that lead them to that moment, but it would be a much more difficult proposition for them if they didn't have immediate and convenient access to a high-powered arsenal when they got there. No one's saying we should ignore all these other factors. We're just saying that maybe we should at least try to make it a little bit more difficult for them to execute when the time comes, right? Or, you know, we just keep giving out thoughts and prayers and making shit up. That seems to be going great so far. Love y'all. YouTube, what's up? Watch another video up here, or maybe it's here. You know, I never know. I could figure it out, but I just don't because I'm dumb. Either way, there's gonna be another video up there. You can click this one little circle to uh, subscribe to this channel, which I'd appreciate. Or I'd very much appreciate if you click the other circle, go to my website and get some tickets to come see me live. Doing a whole hour of stand-up material, a lot of new stuff, having fun, check it out. Either way, I'm glad y'all are here. I love you like chicken. Say you bye.